What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to On The Bench Repeat, the series you put on in the background as your hobby or paint along with me. And what I do is I talk about my life, some hobby stuff, and generally how things are going. And um, we get some hobby done. Yeah, still doing Zombicide, yeah boy. And this is only day two, but um, I don't know, session four, I think, of On The Bench. Yeah, so the fourth session I'm doing with you guys of Zombicide, because I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And why stop doing what you're enjoying? I know I've got to finish my Apothecary for my tutorial, uh, which may or may not have gone up by the time you see this. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't matter anyway. You So you're going to grab brushes, models, glues, paints, whatever you need, or nothing if that is the case. Just sit back, relax, chill and um we are gonna go to work so i've got a cup of coffee just because yeah and i've got enough time to do another session so i'm really pleased about that so let's get to the bench Ooh. Ooh. right okay so this is my time again an hour of painting ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing some other things as well in between the last episode and this episode. Uh, so I'm doing blacks for shoes and hair and things like that. Um, I noticed Julian has got um, a black gun, for instance. Oops. Julian, there he is. His gun is black, and that's his zombie zombivore, sorry, equivalent, counterpart. Yeah, I know what I meant. So, I'm going to start painting his gun. Because it's black. He's got white shoes, though. Which, obviously, are going to have to be a bit off-white. Because they'd be dirty by now. Unless he's just like broken into a stall in the mall and you know, just got himself a brand new pair of trainers. Which he might have done. You never know. This black on here. This is actually a zombicide paint as well. Dead black. Huh. Yeah. So I'm obviously I'm still excited about my um, telephone interview I had today with uh, Lidl. Lidl. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sure most places, most areas have got a, a, a Lidl or a Lidl near them. Um, okay. I'm trying to work around his fingers for the gun. Dorky, right. bits. It's like a scope on the gun. Let me get that done. Oh yeah. So yeah. So by the time you see this. I might know one way or the other whether I was successful at Lidl or not. I'll call it Lidl from now on for the purpose of this video. 
sounds better than illegal anyway. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, I've been successful and I've been unsuccessful. Who knows? I might be on to the next thing by now, you know, job-wise. <laughs> but it, it's given me hope, which is something I really needed. Because, you know, you need that, don't you? In life, I feel, to keep the positive vibes going, you need hope. You need a bit of hope. Everybody needs a bit of hope. Everybody needs a bit of hope. Right, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the handle black as well because I, I can't bother fanning it around. And it'll be easier. On the other models, or on the Zombie 4 version. So what I might do with regard to the shoes is paint them white and then just put a brown wash over it. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Now. Zombivore gun. So whatever I paint on the survivor, I will paint on the Zombivore too. I will actually paint the strap a different colour though, a brown. It just breaks it up a little bit. I, th I think it needs breaking up a bit sometimes. That's good. Okay. Julian's had his gun done. Anybody else got black kits? Have a look. Oh yeah, she has. Oh, Jeff's gun is black too. Let's do Jeff, shall we? Only his survivor's got the gun. Okay, we can do all of that. <laughs> the Zombivore doesn't have the gun. <laughs> If I do end up getting this uh, other job, or as, what that means is if Asda do not keep me on, what are, one of the things I will greatly miss about it is not having to make a packed lunch. So I just don't feel like eating that time of the morning, you know, even on my break. Which saves um, money too. You know, for your lunch. Just 
eat something when you come in instead have your breakfast as, as you would normally do Trying to get all angles of this gun a minute here. He's holding it kind of weirdly. yet uh, still under there yeah that's got him well, his gun is done Blade on his axe is also black. It's curious. So, Zombivore. go excellent I think her guns are black too tiffs yeah. Certainly making use of all the black I've got going on here, which is good. That's oh, just, yeah, it's a bit better. A bit more in shot. Not that you really need to see what I'm doing. It's just that uh, it's nice to have a, a focal point, isn't it? Like if you're just doing a, like a talk about something, sometimes you just, some people I know just focus the camera on an object or a, a book or, or, you know, whatever it may be. Or they they take still images and put that incorporate that into their video. Either way, it doesn't matter. But it does give you a focal point to focus on whilst you're talking. I'm going to have to have a sip of my coffee in a minute. Looking forward to it. I'll be training with my wife later today. Do not karate class. She's really coming on well. You know. I'm very proud of uh, her dedication, actually. She certainly is dedicated. Stop it there. Let's do the Zombivore gun. Same gun by the looks of things. Hmm. doesn't have the other gun on her, like, 
her survivor character uh, model does. Must have lost it. And it's warming up again nicely in here now. Gets cold quick. Heats up quick, but it gets cold quick. Right. Excellent. Uh, Adam, what about you, son? Oh, he's got a black gun. Gun can be black. That's good. referring to the handgun but whatever Got a pistol here, which is quite cool. That's my phone going off, obviously. <laughs> Shoes are black, but with white bits on, so I'll put the black on them now. He's got his gun tucked in his, in his uh, trousers at the front. That's dangerous. His beard is actually black, so... Oh, he's got a moustache as well. Let's get this beard on him here. There is zombie war counterpart. Still gonna have a moustache and a beard. And his beard's gonna. Oh, 
Boo. That'll do, son. 18 minutes in. Let's turn off my heater. Wow. These guys are coming on. They really are. It's time for a sip of coffee. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's just make sure there are no emergencies occurring. No emergencies occurring. Right. Excellent. Oh dear. <clears throat> Rained again earlier, as you might have heard. So, I, whether it'll be raining or not, when I, by the time I go back inside, I do not know. You see these cards here. Are important for the game. That's what you're carrying in your hand here. Um, so you can carry five things. Sometimes you can carry more. Depends on certain certain conditions. The two at the front are your hands. What you're holding in your hands. So if you want to use it, it's got to be in here. I I just w it'd be nice if they had a sort of tray where you could slip these in because the cards slide all over the place when you do it. I mean, it's you know I get the uh, the the idea behind it but you know sometimes it can be a little bit uh, <laughs> oh my word Whew. now <laughs> oh, lots of dark colours we've been doing um, I want a really light a really light grey um, well, I've got the white grey Let's, uh, I think I might go with this astronomical grey instead. This, my friends, is going to be for the skin of the zombies. Yeah. This is an old Citadel paint I've got here. Astronomical grey. So, let's give it a good shake. Might need a bit of a stir, actually. It does, but it's not in too bad a condition. I've got some cocktail sticks here. All right, so we'll add a bit of drying retarder in. And then we'll add a bit of fillers in. Luckily, I've got more thinner. Oh, let's give that a really good shake. Uh, then we'll do a bit of, bit of a stir with the cocktail sticks. Or one of them. Put it to one side for a minute. Oh, let's get that sounding better. Feeling better. Right. Time to give it a bit of a stir. Hmm. There we go. Palette time. Give it on our palette. Some dry and retarder. And we will put some medium with this. Say it's not water, is it? Right, okay. 
Now hopefully this will manage to do all of the zombies skin. Okay, so starting at the back again. Seeker zombies. Having this grey skin. It's not white grey, but it's a very light grey. I mean, greys are how I painted my zombies in The Walking Dead, you may remember. And that was largely um, to really differentiate them between the characters. I, I wanted the characters to have more colours and the zombies to be more black and white, as it were. At least it's easy to tell which zombies have been done. Yeah, so I think I read quickly, I only briefly just glanced saw it as I had the book open it said something about a seeker zombies get an extra extra activation when you pick up another um, seeker zombie card that's going to be interesting because it means you're gonna to have to as a player you're going to have to anticipate the the fact of just in case um, you draw another Seeker Zombie card from the deck. Uh, you can't assume you're safe any, you know, it's because you're like you have a, a zone gap in between you and um, the next zombie over, which is a Seeker Zombie. You could gain an extra activation, which isn't good. But pretty thrilling, I would imagine. It's going to change up my games of Zombicide. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, these are more like ghouls, you know? These, these zombies. So I'm, I'm, I'm very interested. I'm... I'm interested to find out what the Rumorg uh, zombies do as well. Yep. Okay. Looking good, my friend. Looking good. Uh, right. Now, this is good. 
I like the way they're kind of pointing as well. That also is another indication of a seeker zombie. He's pointing at you, probably. Be a bit careful. And these dudes with the coats. Just his left hand is pretty awkward. All right, okay, happy with that. Yeah, onwards. Yeah, so I'm hoping for good things for this year. 2020, I want to be a year of rebuilding and I want it to go well. Um, that said, I would like to go to travel to Exeter on my birthday. I, I, I just enjoy that. Or, or near on my birthday, you know. do enjoy that and I enjoyed it when we went on the train that was quite good fun although it is quite good to drive and be able to go whenever you want and you know that's kind of cool as well so And the other thing is, when we get back to Plymouth, if we go by train, we've then got a source transport to get uh, from the train station back to home. Um, obviously, if we drive, that's not a problem. But I do enjoy a train journey sometimes. It gives me a chance to talk to my wife. Um, because believe it or not, we don't actually spend a lot of time together with our jobs and that. Don't often get a chance to get be together uh, for long. Mm. Oh, that's lovely coffee. Now, I'm not. I'm not trying to play the harp uh, here. Or sorry, the violin and tug at your harp strings. I'm. I'm. I'm like you know. Well, it's just the way it is. You know. And I'm sure it is for a lot of people. So. You know that's that's a factor I, f I like to take into account. Though, because when you're driving, it's you, you're concentrating on driving, aren't you? Rather than, I mean, yes, you can still talk, but it's nice to be more engaging, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it all depends on, let's say, if I can get lucky. With a job, like I say, this little one is hopeful. The furthest I've ever got with a little interview. I guess I'll have the uh, worry of, do I mention my MS at the interview, if I get an interview? If they ask me, have you got any disabilities? I mean, I've got to say, yeah, unless they word it in such a way, like, do you consider yourself to have any disabilities? 
but then even then I've got to think after what happened with the Royal Mail yes I do but thus far it doesn't seem to have I mean I told them in Asda it doesn't seem to have bothered them in retail Time, but it's going to be worth it. I feel it's going to be worth it. to mix up another batch of this Astronomicon Grey. It's a good choice for the skin, I think. A very good choice. Yes, I'm glad I did it. Also looking forward to summer this year. And looking forward to um, longer days, sunshine, sitting in the garden, having a cup of tea with my wife when she finishes work, that kind of thing. You know, those kinds of things that you kind of take for granted, really, but. Uh, So I'm going to cover up any mistakes. I know I made a, a bit of a mistake there with that one. I'm going to cover up any mistakes with blood patches. That's the beauty of zombies, isn't it? Go over his shirt. Oh, so I put blood on it. Cover that up. Yeah, I'll be fine. That's what I intend to do. wash over them as well so that's all well and good I the normal wash would go well on this cover I can afford to be a bit you know blase over his hair because I haven't done that yet do this dude again dude with the coat definitely the hardest one to paint that hand Hmm. I'm starting to get a bit of a backache, so I must be leaning on, because I know it's not my chair, but then to be fair, I haven't been leaning back in my chair. I've been leaning forward, hunched over like I am now. Oh, 
take my brush off. Sit back and have a cup of, a cup of tea, I was going to say. Sip of coffee is what I meant. It's nothing to do with a cup of tea, is it? Ah, sip of coffee. Right. Hmm. Heating's going on again. Yeah, I like that as a skin colour for those zombies. <sighs> oh, there you are. Seeker zombies. It's pretty awesome. So, um, this is for me, Foss, and this is gonna, these are gonna count towards uh, 2020's model count. Uh, so there's a lot of miniatures here, and um, yeah, I shall add it up. I shall keep, start keeping a tally. It's good. Models painted in 2020. doing zombicide so you're going to be doing lots lots of models we're at 40 minutes I don't know if I'll get them finished in the time but we can have a good go a jolly good go Astronomical grid. I'm glad I'm using this. Uh, I haven't really used it much. I've, I mean, I've got a lot of greys. I haven't used this one much. I've probably got an equivalent of this grey in there. Whether it's like a ministratum grey or something like that. Planning on going to see my mum again um, uh, later this month because it's her birthday. Uh, I can see her not long after that. You know, in um, amongst my um, working shifts, if I'm working, well, I'll still be working by then. But um, yeah. So working that in and around my shifts, and I can do that. Won't break the bank because, thankfully, my car is pretty economical on fuel. I have to say, I'm very lucky in that regard. Is the guy with the missing hand who we are going to give a bloody stump to. Missing a finger too. Just makes him look like he's got his hands and a fist, but um, he is actually missing a finger. <laughs> it's a beauty is on the side, isn't it? You could do that. You can mutilate your miniatures. <laughs> you could 
consider doing that anyway, just to make it make them look a bit different from one another. Wake it up a bit. When I've finished these, I'm guessing my tutorial model will be finished at around about the same time. And probably even one of the diorama pieces um, that I've got on the bench. So the wolves and that. So that's when I'll be. Hmm. What do I do now? I got uh, I got loads of stuff that I can unbox and build. Of course, you've probably seen. Hmm. I'll start thinking about our church gig t too soon. We'll be starting tomorrow. We'll be looking at what songs are we going to do and learn and stuff actually uh, go about learning them <laughs> so that's gonna be fun you're gonna have to put some familiar songs in there I mean familiar for, for us I mean, it'd be nice to have a completely new set, but uh, you want to have some songs that you're pretty confident with, don't you? You, yeah, you must agree with me there. Okay. Ooh. Left. We might get this done. Maybe. Well, I know when I go in, I'll take some painkillers, I think, from my back. And the heat is starting to gather intensity again. Oh, that 
that's off. Really, that's, we will. I think we will do this in the um, allotted time, which is good. I'm currently rendering next week's uh, on the bench. It's probably done by now. I go in later and have a look at that. Getting dark outside. It means it's gone four o'clock. I don't know exactly what the time is without looking, which I will do in a moment. Go. Is that one? Right, what time is it? Time is... Oh, it's got it to five. That's good. It used to be that dark at four o'clock um, in days gone by. Not that many far ago, actually. How long ago? I like that with each box set so far anyway, it's been a new type of zombie with different abilities and characteristics, which is cool. Yeah. Makes for a very thematic game. My wife and I have often talked about, will there be an apocalypse in our lifetime? My honest answer, my thoughts on the matter are, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I hope not, but Maybe. Last one. Oh, yeah. Astronomic and Grey has done really well. For an old paint, it's uh, in remarkably good condition. So my wife will be finishing soon. Unfortunately, it'll still be dark when she finishes, so... It's like driving at night time, isn't it? And we are on the last stretch here. 
his arm. Oh, this is going to be good. And we are done, folks. Well, with that. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, oh, that's good. Ah, uh, So let's zoom out. We've done all the skin on all these zombies here. So. When these are done. Go to my model count. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. So this is gonna be thirty-four models painted in twenty twenty once they get going. So um yeah, that's gonna be good. Like I say, I still need to finish my apothecary, and um, yeah, I really want to get going on because he's like I say, he's going to form um, basis of my um, um, my intro for my series called Apothecary, so that's going to be good too. Can you see him in a closer look? There he is thus far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's still raining outside. Right, I'm going to end it here. Oh, man. Man, that's good. Okay, so. Let's change the camera angle. So, thank you for joining me on this episode of On The Bench. It's been brilliant. Oh, God, neck ache, back ache, all kinds of ache going on here. Ooh. I don't know, but I've got lots of footage uh, filmed for my videos, which is great. So um, let me know in the comments below what you're working on. I love reading those, um, especially when you've um, like finished projects. That's great because it makes me feel good. Uh, you know, helping you get through them because uh, yeah it's, it's a good feeling uh, and you know if you fancy checking out some behind the scenes footage just my camera look, uh, then um, you know head on over to patreon which will give you um, exclusive behind the scenes videos and other videos besides there's also a painting with patreon series over there that you can uh, paint along too if you want to watch stuff in HD and um, have a bit more a bit more structure to you. I'm sorry about the yawning. You know I can't help it. It's a symptom of my disease, folks. I'm so sorry, but I know it's contagious. <laughs> yawning that is. And uh, yeah, but I'm I'm really pleased with what I've got going on there. Um, Please like, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Um, don't forget my P&Qs. If you've got any questions, please head on over to the last uh, episode. They're done monthly. And I could do it, you know, all the questions I can. Because <coughs> I enjoy doing those. Won't be long from doing a, a P&Q for January. First one of 2020. So that would be good. Look out for that one. And, um, yeah. So I will say goodbye. Cheerio. Remember, brushes lead to war. See you on the next one.